Okay, we have a bit of a problem in here. Last time we had this out, it was fine until it rained. And then we're driving down the highway and stopped and came in for lunch and it was leaking. And so when the water's, you know, the pushing, coming back from the vehicle and stuff and water's getting stirred up on the highway, uh, it pushes water in here somewhere. When it's just sitting uh, stationary, you know, and if it rains, it's, it's okay. So it doesn't seem like it's the roof. It seems more like it's this wall here somewhere. So, yeah, this has been out before. You can see someone someone had to patch this here. And I don't know what kind of a job they did. And you can see there's a bit of mold going on here. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to take, take that out. Take the table out. And I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to clean out whatever's in there. And then see if I can figure out where this is leaking. Yeah, yeah, there's some mold here, that ain't good. Okay, table's out. Let's see if there's, that's oh, a little loose there. I don't know what that is. I'll figure it out. Boy, it was leaking there, look at that. I don't know, I guess these gotta come out. Ah, uh, you can see. This doesn't look so bad over here. It's pretty getting rotten in here though. There's been a patch done to this, like these inside covers have been changed. The inside panels have been changed. And it's leaking now. It's leaking probably around the window or up on these corners, it looks like. I hate that pink stuff. Okay, so what I've done, I've taken out this paneling that was moldy. And you can see, let's see here see some of this is it's been repaired before see this see this up here is the lap siding that's the factory siding and then this has been changed this piece down here it's before I got a hold of this thing and it looks like there's been a block put in here some of this is yeah so I'm gonna repair this I'm getting set up to fix this look at that this doesn't look too bad over here. This looks, I don't know. This this is factory here, factory wood. I don't think that's been changed. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's all factory there. The metal's been changed on it for some reason. I think I know why. It's got a very short turning radius. And I think what's happened, I almost done it myself, is I've almost done it myself, is when you turn sharp, the the corner of the bumper of the truck can hit down in here so i think that's probably what someone did or it might have been leaking i don't know you don't often get history when you buy these things but the same thing over here see there's the factory metal or uh, aluminum siding and then see it's changed here someone did a pretty good job on it actually they put a pretty heavy gauge piece of metal in here and uh it lasted i don't know how long it, it lasted but so anyway, I'm going to check the corners, check the wood, and I'm going to have to put probably like door skin or something, you know, over that, you know, like okay, I'll never be able to match this, whatever that is on there. I don't, I don't know I'd want to. I don't think I'd want to, I don't think I'd want to match that pattern. Ugh. That's up here. I, I'm going to hold off tearing out the top piece here. I think most of the, the leak is has shown itself down here so I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm not gonna tear out any more beyond there but the rest of it's not bad you know I'm using the light because the I, I got this thing unplugged right now and the battery's pretty dead so 
Yeah, the rest of it's pretty pretty good shape. Just a little model that's got a toilet. See? Toilet in the shower. It's got a few things that needs to be fixed, but that's the primary concern right there now. So, I'm gonna go out and show you the outside corners. So, we got this trim pulled off of here. And the screws were rusty, and that's usually an indicator that you got some water getting in there and you got rotten wood in behind it to some degree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking these screws off, I've pulled this out. I'm gonna take this corner molding off gently, clean it up, and I'm gonna get some uh, special RV corner tape and put in behind here and then seal this back in with butyl with some butyl adhesive and see if I can sort that out. See, I've got some of the screws started out here. See how rusty they are? And then this is that PC that's been put in there. So what happens is what I was explaining there earlier when you, and this is on the truck, and if you turn like you're trying to back it into a corner or something, the, you know, the, the bumper comes, you know, the truck comes right over here and you can hit, you can, the canopy or the back of the box will hit right here, right down in here. I've almost done it a few times myself. So here's the, see up in here, you can see this is someone's been put a bunch of caulking here at some point. So it's leaked over the years. See, this is factory here. You can see the dark stuff there. That would, that hasn't been touched. That's how it looked. But uh, up in here, see they've gobbed some stuff in here. And over here too, this is, See this stuff here, this is the, the insert for the, the corner trim that just pulls out. You can put that back in. I'm gonna get another piece of it. But you can see up here, there's, there's molding for that as well. But they've taken that out of it and they just goop, put, put some of that goop over those holes. We had this out last year and uh, it rained one day and we were stationary and it was fine. Didn't leak. But when we pulled it on down the highway that day, we left the campsite, we drove down the highway, we stopped for lunch, and we went in and it was all wet down the inside of this wall. So somewhere, you know, you know, when the wind is blowing against the camper on the highway, it's forcing water in somewhere, and I don't know exactly where, but it looks like there's a hole through there, look at that. Yeah, it's been someone stuck some silicone in there too. And there. So I guess I'm gonna go over all these all these spots. See what happens. Okay, moved along here a little bit. What I've done is I've taken the trim out of here and I've taken these screws out, most of them, and I'm pulling this Pulling the trim off of here, and I'm finding, you know, the, the factory putty is in behind there, but it, it's pretty dry, you know, there's not a lot of stick left in that. So, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just getting a little dark in here, maybe see if I can get a light on. And look in these corners here. You can see, whenever they change this piece of metal here, they just sort of gob that sealant in there under under this under here and, and and you know it didn't really adhere it didn't get to this side at all it just sort of stuck there in a blob see it's not stuck there on this side at all so it's just i don't know how they put it in there but that's just not not sticking well to anything see that and uh same down here it came off like it sort of came off with the corner but it and when it was up there like that, you see, see how that is? And that's not stuck to this side at all. You know, it's stuck to here, but it, it was never stuck to this. So I don't know if that's the source of the leak, but I'm gonna clean all this up. This is all coming out. All this glue's coming off of here. All that old caulking, I'm gonna get rid of that. Once I get two hands into it here. Yeah, and then I'm gonna change any of the wood that's that's rotten in here too. I'm going to change the pieces that are 
have deteriorated before I even attempt to try and bring anything back into working order. Yeah, this doesn't look like there was many screws even put under the bottom here. They've all pulled off, so yeah, got that to do. What I did here the other day was I took off this, um, there's a cover that hinges over the window, or sort of a rock guard when you're, when you're driving. And it, uh, it's, it sits on a frame here. There's this, I should have actually filmed it when, before I got to this point, but it just, all it is is a, it's a metal track that sits here. And I looked at where the, up here now, if I got the aim right, where these marker lights go. And I mean, there's been, someone goobed all around them, you know, there's been stuff put on there over the years. But you know, look at the size of the hole the manufacturer leaves in the front face of this where it's going to get all the moisture from the driving down the highway. Look at the size of the hole they, they put there for just two wires. You know, we're talking like a three quarter inch hole. I mean, they could have done that in a little rubber boot that, you know, has something in it to protect from moisture going in there. But no, it's a great big gaping hole. Uh, and that's the same on both sides, you know? So it's just like, so if that, you know, they say these leak, and they, quite often they leak. And it's a little wonder if any water gets behind there, it's got a great big hole to go into. You can see this corner, like this is the factory corner. I mean, it's not, there's not much holding it together. There was some staples in it, I guess, but you know, that's the factory corner. I don't see any membrane that was under this uh, corner flashing at all. There was some uh, putty on it, a yeah, little bit of putty, but I'm gonna I'm gonna change that piece of wood in there, and I'm gonna staple this in. I'm gonna put some caulking under it, and then I'm gonna staple it down. And then I've got some tape coming. I've ordered a little bit of this adhesive tape, like um, butyl membrane. It's got butyl rubber under it, I guess. I'm gonna put some of that over the corner. And then I'm going to put butyl um, adhesive and then re reseal this corner bead. And plus I'm going to do all these lights and take these off and reseal them. Is. So, yeah, look at that. Here it is. Now, let's see what I got here. Let's see what we got. So, this side is factory. Uh, I think that's all factory. That's been added. Let me see here. This is stapled. Yeah, uh, something, look at this, it's that rotten piece I pointed out before. And this is all done here, look at that. Yeah, that's all done, that whole corner. Not much, eh, look at that, just a... It's not even a one by two, it's more of a... It's not even three quarters of an inch, it's maybe five eighths by... Inch and a quarter. Meets another one the same going that way. Yeah. Huh. I mean, they charge the world for these things too, new way. Eh? The technology hasn't changed. Yeah, they're still making garbage, you know, these house of cards, is what I call them. House of cards. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. See? It's a little let go here, but. And Mickey Mouse technology. Or something there. Yeah, a staple. What's here? Another staple, it looks like right on the seam there, okay. That. Yeah. Wow. You wonder why these things, when they get in a wreck on the highway, they just collapse like a, you know, $2 suitcase. Because <clears throat> that's what they are. You can even see the little piece of metal they drilled out there when they drilled that hole for the lights. Look, it was no accident they did a drilled a three-quarter inch hole. Ah, that's the bit they're using. 
There's the bit they're using. That's the piece they drilled out of the side to put that light on. You know, they'd have been better to put the little hole. I don't know. I just have a question. How come every time I go for a pair of gloves, you know, I got lots of gloves, but every time I go to pick up a pair of gloves, you know, I get something like, I got two lefts. <laughs> you know, I've been accused of that before, having two left hands or whatever, but how come when I pick up a, a pair of gloves, there's gotta be a pair of rights out there somewhere, right? There's gotta be a pair of rights somewhere and i could just you know make uh, two full pairs out of this but until that day you know this is what i got for a pair of gloves just thought i'd mention that okay lefty here with another job for you i cut that Cut the head of this bolt off. Another quality repair brought to you by Lefty. A bunch of goop in there. Okay, take a look over here. That. It's coming up. Just like that. Okay, so there's this goop they put over these screw heads up here. Okay. Just gonna get that off. Phony little screwdriver I found. Look at that. Out of like a kid's toolbox <laughs> or something. Ah, yeah. Not my day for gloves or screwdrivers, is it? Ah. They're all out of there. Coming on the end there, maybe. This little screwdriver. Yeah, where'd I get that? I know where that came from. That's one of those little kits that come with a car, you know, like in the trunk. They they give you a, a bad pair of like uh, slip lock pliers and a screwdriver and a, a roadside flare or something. You know, when you buy a new car, this came in some old car. That's where that came from. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. Huh. Okay, there's some more of those old man noises. Uh, let me see if I can get one out of me here. Uh, there's one. Huh, yeah, that might be factory actually, I don't know. That seems, I don't know what that would be for. Some kind of flashing. Uh, it's probably where the, well, I don't know what they were doing with it. Huh. Let's see here. Let's see. That plywood's not rotten there unless it's been changed. Maybe we'll figure out where the water came in. I'm leaning towards thinking it was these corners. Might have been the light, but it's the corners for sure. It's running down the corner. I think it's a pretty common ailment on these things. Under the window looks, you know, I don't know if that was water. Under the window doesn't look too bad. A little mole started there. That's not good. Yeah. This side's about the same, eh? In that same area. Remember on the inside, the plywood was all wet. Yeah. It's, you know, it's amazing to think it comes out of the factory and they put two pieces of metal there together. You know, they, they have the technology to you know, to create one of these pieces with a, an overlap, you know? Instead of butting them up like that, 
You know, this is, you know, that's what a, a guy in the backyard like me would do. But, you know, a factory, they would, you think they could create a, an L shape, you know, on the one piece, or, you know, it laps over, especially on the front, like over like that. You know, wouldn't that be so easy? No, they just hack it, cut it off, and then everything relies on this stupid little piece of trim they put over it. You know, that's what they, that's the sign of a of a bad craftsman, someone who relies on the caulking. You know, basically the design should be to prevent the leaks, and the caulking is more of insurance, not not the primary leak stop. Anyway, you know, when I start my own country. Man, the things are gonna change. Things are gonna change. Yeah. When I start my own country, RVs are gonna be made to last. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I gotta make a decision here. Huh. It's, it's actually kind of fun tearing stuff apart, but then, you know, you, th you think you got to stop at some point because you're going to have to put it back together, right? Where do you want to stop digging, you know? Uh, well, I think I'll dig out those corners first and see and let those decide for me. Because if this is good in here, there's no reason to tear it out. 